hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i am going to talk about migration center so one of the new feature which is launched by google cloud so today i'll be talking about that topic so this is very interesting topic because nowadays every organization they wanted to move their workload to google cloud so in this video i'll be explain step by step what are the all features is available like uh, the get initial cost estimate discovery assist and uh, preference and run reports plan your migration migrate to google cloud all are uh, the information is available here so in this one uh, overview page so how you can summarize and how you can asset details and groups uh, data input migration preference and uh, cost estimation and recent export report uh, estimation cost of your migration everything is readily available you can just uh, uh, in this GUI, uh, just you plug in play, then your things can be how it will be smooth. So now let's uh, go ahead and see the steps. Uh, let me explain one by one. Okay. So here, as you can see, uh, so this is the overview option and this is the estimated cost option and this is the summary which will be, uh, so the details. And then this is the asset option. This is the group PGM, like a group wise you can and uh, uh, do the migration, then data import, right? Then the migration preference and TCO and pricing, recent exports, all these information which you can uh, see over here. So let me go through one by one. So first, this is the overview page. Then in this overview page, get initial cost estimate, discovery asset, preference, run reports, plan your migration migrate to google cloud so these are the things but let me go to uh, estimated cost so here the estimated just you put the name suppose uh, let me put demo then the operational id uh, opportunity id you have this is also optional so for example you will go for the on premises uh, estimate or sap workload estimate or data warehousing estimate so let me quickly add on uh, the on-premises, then click on start estimated. Then you click on start, right? Then couple of options will come like which location you want to uh, migrate. Then you'll put the total number of uh, vCPU, uh, what are the exact requirement you need. So based on that, you details you put and then your workload license. Uh, part um, IG required or not then migration timeline and pricing discount all these information will be displayed here so if we we'll go through the details uh, definitely it will be help so I'm just quickly uh, go through the overview like if you we'll click on add estimate then uh, uh, also it will add then it will uh, start the estimate so just click on start SAP uh, location then add the deployment so this is the application suite what are the application uh, this is a uh, sap hana or s4 hana or uh, po bo all these uh, kind of details then uh, this is the just the uh, gui option just you based on your requirement you uh, put that so likewise data warehousing also do, will do that this is the this was the estimated cost part now move on to the summary part so click on summary you just uh, uh, set up your scanning uh, right so just uh, you click on uh, setup uh, select the environment then set up the uh, discovery client name and service account will create and add the service account and add for the re requirement value will put over there as for your requirement uh, then it will be working right so this was the summary part uh, so the view your starter zone also just click on view starter zone uh, the so login with your uh, I, your uh, I, I address I mean your uh, email ID so this is your the starter zone also it will be uh, working for you to do that so this is one then the uh, this is the summary part and the scanning also then the asset like uh, what are the assets so just to add uh, all these asset view with status uh, if you have uh, login with status so it will be helpful then click on group so also it is integrated with status it will help you to group gym and then data input so input the data uh, 
लाइक के फुल अपलोड एंड स्कैन द डिटेल्स देन माइग्रेट माइग्रेशन प्रिफरेंस लाइक के इफ यू क्रिएट ए माइग्रेशन प्रिफरेंस देन यू क्लिक ऑन दैट देन पुट द नेम एंड सिलेक्ट द लोकेशन गूगल क्लाउड कंप्यूट इंजिन द मेसिन टाइप यू सिलेक्ट देन ऑल दिज लाइसेंसिंग पेज यू गो and all this and what not so based on this and three year committed discount you can take for your uh, cost saving and this is the one of the uh, migration preference then i'll move on to the cost pricing so here as you can see create a report click on create report then put name some uh, for let me put some name demo and then uh, you just uh, select the group whatever the group earlier you had created then based on that it will be moving ahead for the next process right so then the uh, recent export whatever the export you have done so all these thing this is the migration center which will help you to uh, estimate the cost summarize asset group data and put migration preference and uh, uh, how the status zone will uh, integrated with your uh, Uh, registered email id so uh, which will help us to uh, integrated your status zone for the assessment right so these are the overview like analyze plan and migrate so first you tell analyze then it will plan then migrate then what will do just click on uh, sign on in this status zone and status zone will uh, will be working for your uh, analyze the and discovery the Uh, details of your underlying infrastructure uh, whatever you have then we we'll plan for the cloud then we will start the migration so this is uh, all about the migration center which is uh, uh, recently launched by google cloud so i hope this video will be helpful to understand the migration center overview how we can work and how we'll moving forward to apply in our um uh, existing project if it is required for the migration project if you are working so it will be helpful for you so thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel to get more content like this thank you so much bye bye